Do you want to create gorgeous, elegant cards? As every card maker knows, there's nothing like a touch of gold to glam up your projects. Today we will be sharing seven crafty ideas to add gold to your cards. Keep count of how many of these techniques you have already tried in your craft room and let us know your answer in the comments at the end. Molten Metal Layered Florals Join me in this video as I show you that you don't always have to use different coloured cardstock to use your layered dies. You can use white cardstock and then use your beautiful embossing powders to create a beautiful scene. I used a mix of different embossing powders to add a touch of gold to all of these florals. Washi tape crafting tutorial using Sweet Dreams and Botanical Rhapsody. Join the amazing Nicole as she shows us that we can add a touch of gold to our projects using washi tape. We just love that beautiful gold sheen she adds using the gold foil one inch washi tape. up your hot foil waste. Join me in this video as I show you that you don't necessarily need to throw away your hot foil waste. You can use your hot foil waste with a little bit of double sided adhesive to make amazing backgrounds to your projects. Foil all the things. Join Jenny in this video as she shows us that we can add gold in two ways on one project and it's still going to look super classy. She uses the Sunburst Doily Hot Foil Plate with beautiful gold foiling as well as adding a background using some of the washi tape from Alta New that has the gold splatter on there. Faux Blackout Colouring Card Tutorial Join me again in this video as I show you how you can use gold inks to add a beautiful touch to your projects. Also you can mix gold embossing with the gold ink to create a beautiful elegant look. Adding texture to your projects. Join the amazing Natalie as she shows us how we can add beautiful gold and texture to our projects. She uses embossing paste through stencils and then uses some beautiful embossing powder to heat set to create this beautiful effect. Full front shaker card. 
join me again in this video as I show you how you can create a full fronted shaker card. To add a touch of gold, I use the gold sequins from Altenew for the shaker pieces in this card. To add a little bit more touch of bling, I did use the gold glitter paper too for the sentiment. How about that? Are you feeling gold yet? Which technique are you ready to try today? Hello crafters, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching.